now that it is officially winter we actually just got snow the other day i think we ended up getting maybe like one or two inches which is the perfect amount it makes everything so pretty so like magical like a winter wonderland but it's not too much snow that it makes traveling or commuting problematic so it's the perfect amount so this video is very timely so today i'm sharing a month's worth of work outfit ideas and there are about 20 working days in the month so i have about 20 outfits to share and I organized this video by bottom type and color. So I have work outfits with black pants because I feel like black pants are probably the most popular, especially this time of year. I have work outfit ideas with navy blue pants, brown pants, cream pants, and skirts. And I have different colored skirts, different types of skirts, like pleated skirts, satin skirts, slip skirts. I would describe my style as classic with a modern twist. And because of that, I suspect you probably, hopefully, have a lot of the same pieces that I'll be sharing. Maybe not the exact piece, but very similar pieces. Hopefully you can recreate a lot of these outfits using pieces you already have in your closet. When I put together outfits, especially for winter, I mainly look at color combinations. I like to play on textures like mixing satin and faux leather and suede and also proportions like mixing a wide leg pant with a fitted top. I'm a huge fan of mixing and matching pieces to create new looks. So throughout the video, you'll find that I'm using a lot of the same pieces and creating new outfits from these pieces. And I will link everything I'm sharing in the description box down below. But again, I'm hoping you could recreate these outfits using pieces you already have in your closet. And I should also note that I do earn a commission on purchases made through those links. And we'll get started. I have my notebook so I don't forget anything. And side note, so I got this notebook, I think like two months ago, and I'm almost at the end of it. There's just something so satisfying about finishing a notebook. I don't know what it is. Maybe I need to get out more. <laughs> So starting off with category number one, and that's outfits with black pants. There's no chicer outfit than an all black outfit. It's chic, it's stylish, it's classic, it'll always be in style. And it's perfect for any type of work environment, whether you work in like a business professional environment, business casual, smart casual, casual. So here I'm wearing a black fitted turtleneck. I paired it with black wide leg pants. I love the difference in the fitted turtleneck versus the wide leg pants. This outfit is a very classic, like it'll always be in style, but also very modern because an overarching theme and trend with fashion right now is, is casual, oversized, loose fitting proportions. So the pants are a nod to that trend, although I say trend, but I feel like the wide leg pants are always going to be in style. In comparison, if I were to wear an all black outfit, say, like four or five years ago, I would have went for a fitted turtleneck and fitted pants because the overarching theme at that time was very fitted, structured, tailored looking clothing. Think back to like the days of that skinny jeans which were like the jeans to wear. So during that time about four or five years ago, that was the style, like very fitted, very structured, very tailored looking. And by contrast right now, it's more about loose fitting, casual, flowy materials. If you work in a more business professional environment, I would put a blazer over the top. This is also a great outfit to wear when you're running late, don't know what to wear, don't have time to even think to put together an outfit, just all black. So chic, polished looking, stylish. Outfit idea number two is layer a white button up shirt under a sweater, any sweater, any color sweater. I the layering of the white button up shirt makes the outfit look so stylish. And you can have the sleeves poking out of your sweater. And I should note the sweater that I'm wearing here, it's actually the same style sweater that I'm wearing here. And it's a short sleeve sweater. So, so it works really well if you want to have the sleeves of the white button up shirt roll up past your elbows. And you can have the shirt tails of the button up shirt poking out from the bottom of your sweater. Or you can tuck them into your pants. And in my last YouTube video, I shared 10 winter style tips. And one of my tips was how to prevent makeup from getting on the collars of button up shirts. So I find in the winter time, usually my coat and my scarf are the culprit of that because the coat and the scarf are applying a lot of pressure and I'm moving around when I'm commuting or walking, I'm looking around, so my neck is moving around. And in the meantime, my makeup is transferring on the collared shirt. So my tip would be to place a paper towel between the collar of your shirt and your neck for when you're commuting so that when you're moving around, your makeup transfers onto the paper towel and when you get to work or your destination, take the paper towel off. And as we speak, I'm actually testing out a new tip. This came highly recommended by my followers over on Instagram. I got so many comments and DMs about this when I shared the paper towel trick. And my followers recommended using hairspray on the collar of your shirt. So this morning I sprayed hairspray on one side of this button up shirt and the other side I left as is just so that at the end of the day, I can compare the difference between the side that has a hairspray and the side that doesn't. So, so we'll keep you posted. My initial concerns with this tip is, is it going to be sticky and is it going to discolor my shirt? So I spray the hairspray and I let it sit for probably like two minutes before I put the shirt on it and I didn't find it to be sticky and it didn't discolor my shirt. So, so throughout this video, you might see me moving my head more than usual, like whipping my head around just so I can really put this tip to the test. So we'll keep you posted. So the key to this next outfit is the color combination, all the little details. So depending on where you live, how cold it is, how warm it is. So where I live, it gets pretty cold out, especially in January. I think January might be the coldest month out of the whole year. So I'm all bundled up. I have all my warm layers. So, so I'm wearing this off-white fitted mock neck turtleneck. And if you're lucky enough to live somewhere that has a mild winter, you can also just wear a white or off-white t-shirt with this outfit. Or if you work in an environment that's a little more business professional, wear a white button-up shirt instead. And then the cardigan that I'm wearing here, it's actually, it's 
made of thicker material. I don't know if it's made out of a wool blend material, but it's a thicker material. It actually could also double as a jacket. And because it has the tortoise buttons and that rounded neckline and just the style of it in general, I'm wearing it here more as a blazer or like a tweed style jacket versus like a winter jacket kind of coat that you would wear out. So to recreate this outfit, you could wear any camel blazer or cardigan or tweed jacket that you own. And I feel like what really ties this outfit together and like the cherry on top if it was a Sunday is the camel belt and the camel shoes. It just completely like brings everything together. And in terms of the color of your handbags, that's a question I often get is if I wear a belt, what color shoes do I wear? Do I match all three? So I think it's quite stylish. If you match two out of the three, you could of course match all three. So in this situation, you can go with the camel belt, camel shoes, and a black purse to tie in the black of the pants. Or you can have fun with this outfit and go with a pop of color. I think a red bag would look so chic with this outfit. I hope you're sitting down for this next one. Here is proof that I do wear color and print. So here I'm wearing this gray pie blazer. I want to style a blazer that had some color in it and also some print. Print and sheer different ways to style it. Plaid is very classic. I feel like it's always in style and it's also really fun to style because you can play off the different colors in the plaid. So using this plaid blazer as an example. So I would say the dominant color of this blazer is gray. It also has like a, I would say like an off-white color and black. And the least dominant color is this I think it's a burgundy color. It might also be brown. I can't quite tell. <laughs> I feel like when I put a brown top underneath, it looks brown. But when I put like a wine color top underneath, it looks like this wine color. So it works either way. So because of all the colors in this blazer, you can have fun and style it with different colored shirts. You can wear a gray shirt, a black shirt, a cream colored shirt, or that brown or like burgundy color shirt. And I quite like that whenever I wear like plaid or a print or a tweed to wear the least dominant color in the print. So the least dominant color of this blazer is that wine color. So, so I would wear a wine colored shirt underneath. I think that looks so stylish. I often get asked for outfit ideas on what to wear for work when you're traveling for work and you're going like straight from the plane to a meeting or to work. And I think black pants or dark colored pants are a key just because you're doing a lot of traveling, probably eating, drinking your coffee and could potentially stain them. So, so black pants or dark colored pants won't show any stains. And these pants in particular, I find also don't wrinkle easy. So that's also really key is having pants that are wrinkle resistant just because you're traveling. So you're probably spending a lot of time sitting, which could lead to wrinkles. I also like this outfit because of the layers, because you could take off that sweater if you get warm on the plane. I also like the white color shirt poking out underneath the sweater because I feel like it makes the outfit more professional. And it's great if you like don't really know what type of work environment you're heading into. Like if you're going to see a client and they say like, oh no, we're a business casual type of environment, but you still like want to dress and look nice. So I think this would be a great outfit for that because it could go like business casual or business professional with the white button up shirt and black pants combination. And I also like the sweater over the button up shirt in this type of situation because if you were just to wear the white button up shirt, say like under a blazer, again, you could also always run that risk of spilling something along your travels on the white button up shirt and don't really have the means to clean it up and also white button up shirts especially with all that traveling and sitting you see belts across you and all that could wrinkle and by having the sweater over the white button up shirt don't see any wrinkles can never go wrong with a blazer turtleneck black pants combination for winter so here i'm wearing this light beige colored blazer and then i layered this cream colored turtleneck underneath this one is really unique i feel like because it's semi sheer so it comes with the camisole underneath so you see the camisole a bit of the sheerness at the neck and because of that it gives the outfit a lot of dimension and interest and it also makes it modern and a little trendy just because because sheer fabrics are very on trend okay i am impressed with the hairspray so you can see this the side did not have the hairspray on it and i can definitely see oh i don't know if it's picking up on camera makeup on this side and this side i spray the hairspray on it nothing it looks like new Wow, and I sprayed that hairspray. Probably I've had this on for about three and a half hours, and I've purposely been moving around a lot so that my neck brushes up against the collar just to like really put it to the test. So I am impressed. So moving on to our next category, and that is outfits with navy blue pants and using my lift and shift method. And if you watch any of my other videos, you're probably like, Nikki, stop trying to make lift and shift happen. <laughs> so lift and shift is the method that I use if I like a combination. It helps me to easily and quickly create many outfits using that combination. So as an example, in the last outfit, I had on that tan blazer with this sheer turtleneck with black pants. 
and I love that combination of the tan blazer and that sheer turtleneck. So I just keep switching out the pants. So I just lift that top part for one outfit and shift it to, to a different colored pant. So instead of with the black pants here, I'm wearing it with navy blue pants. So I'll just keep switching out the bottoms with that same blazer or turtleneck combination and, help, and I'm able to create so many outfits. Another outfit idea. So here I'm wearing this cream colored sweater tee. I think it might look like a t-shirt on camera, but it is made out of sweater material. It's actually the same sweater I'm wearing here, but in a cream color. It's made out of a really soft material. I don't know what it's made out of. I'm going to say it's probably like a cashmere or cashmere blend material, but the price I paid is not like a cashmere price. I think it was, I think this is like $50 maybe. So I, I don't think it's made out of cashmere, but it's super, super soft and warm. But if you live somewhere that gets really cold, instead of wearing a short sleeve sweater, you can wear a long sleeve sweater with this outfit. And because I'm wearing the sweater tee, if I do end up getting cold throughout the day, I can always put that navy blue and white striped sweater actually on. And I think what really makes this outfit stylish and really like set apart is the accessories. I feel like a lot of times what makes an outfit stylish is those little details. So in this case, it's the sweater draped over the shoulders and also the camel colored belt tying in the camel boots. Luckily, you didn't catch that. I wasn't filming that. I almost fell off my chair when I sat down. <laughs> so next outfit, I love monochromatic outfits. I always feel like they look so stylish, so chic, but they're so easy. Just pair similar colors together and you're good to go. So here I'm wearing a monochromatic navy blue outfit. And I do think what makes this outfit a little more stylish is the cardigan because of the details of it. So it is a cable knit style. So it has that pretty cable knit raised texture to it and also gold statement buttons. I love my neutrals, but I also love stripes. Even though they're neutral, they're also, because it's stripes, I feel like it instantly makes the outfit a little more stylish. So here I'm wearing a navy blue and white striped sweater. It's actually the same sweater I'm wearing here, but in a navy blue and white stripes. So it's that short sleeve sweater tee. And then I pair the white button up shirt underneath. And again, I have the collar poking out and shirt tails. I think it looks so chic, so stylish. And it's also a great spring transition outfit. Yes, I'm already thinking about spring. I know it's only in January, but I feel like we had our holidays. We've got our snow, like, like ready for spring fashion, but, but I know a little too early, but this would be a great outfit to transition into spring. And in the spring, or if you live somewhere that's warm right now, you could wear instead of the boots, you can wear ballet flats, loafers, heels, sneakers. This is one of my favorite combinations with navy blue pants, a, a navy blue and white straight button up shirt layered with a taupe or beige or camel color duster cardigan. And also now that I have spring on my mind, this would be a really great spring transition outfit. So instead of wearing the boots, you can wear loafers, belly flats, heels, sneakers. And I know offices are notoriously cold like all year round. So you could even wear this outfit all year round and put the duster cardigan on when you get cold, take it off when you get hot. And moving on to our next category, which is outfits with brown pants. And don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Using my lift and shift method. <laughs> Taking this combination, so I'm wearing it here with the jeans and, and lifting it from this outfit with the jeans to brown pants. Love the combination. It's classic, but also modern, again, with the wide leg pants. And I also feel like with the shirt tail sticking out, also gives it like a casual, relaxed, like kind of like a cool girl vibe to it, while also looking professional. I also use my lift and shift method to put together this outfit. So here I'm wearing this light brown cardigan, and I layered a white long sleeve t-shirt underneath, and I have the t-shirt poking out at the sleeves and also at the neckline, which serves a couple of purposes. So one, it looks stylish, and it's, and it's also a nod to 90s fashion, which is having a huge moment again. Fashion always comes back around. Around. and the white t-shirt layered under sweaters is so iconic of the 90s so it's a nod to the 90s and it also adds another layer of warmth not that you need it with this cardigan because this cardigan is actually quite warm but I wore that same exact cardigan white t-shirt combination with I think I wore it with my gray jeans it was either my gray or black jeans I can't quite remember now but I'm pretty sure my gray jeans so again I just I took that combination and I tried it with the brown pants I love the look so it's somewhat of a monochromatic look it's more of like a tonal look the different tones of brown and I also love that this outfit is professional, great for work, but it's also modern and a little trendy. And moving on to our next category. So I was going to do cream pants, but I think we'll do that at the end. And let's switch it up and we'll do skirts. So I have different types of skirts. We'll start off with this navy blue slip skirt. And you'll have to forgive me because I can't remember if I included this outfit in my fall work outfits video that I did a few months ago. I may or may not have included it. It's one of my favorite outfits. So it bears repeating if so. <laughs> And again, a monochromatic, one of my favorite outfit formulas. It's so easy and it looks so chic and so stylish. And another outfit idea with navy blue, if you can't tell already, I love like tan, camel, beige, taupes with navy blue. I think it's such a pretty combination. So another outfit idea is to wear a camel colored blazer and a camel colored sweater or turtleneck underneath. And also the tan or camel colored accessories. I absolutely love this combination. I love the color combination. Also the different textures and layers i feel like it makes the outfit so interesting and another monochromatic outfit no surprises here so here i'm wearing a camel colored pleated skirt and a camel sweater and if you 
you watched my last YouTube video, I shared 10 tips on how to look chic and stylish in the winter, but also warm. And one of my tips is to wear thermal thermals under your clothes. So for this outfit, you could wear thermal pants because the skirt is long. It's a midi length and I'm wearing knee high boots. So your skin wouldn't show anyway. So no one would even know that you're wearing your thermal pants. And another outfit idea with a pleated skirt is wear a blazer over the top and belt the blazer and wear a turtleneck. It's such a stylish outfit and it's so beautiful. I love all the layers and all the different textures between the pleated skirt, the belt, the turtleneck, the blazer. It's also so pretty when you're walking because the pleated skirt has such a beautiful movement to it. And especially with the belted blazer because it gives the outfit some shape. It's, it's such a gorgeous outfit. And again, if you live somewhere that's really cold in the winter, you can wear your thermals underneath and no one will know. And you're looking chic and stylish, but also warm. And moving on to our next category, which is cream colored pants. I should probably say like lighter colored pants because all these outfits you could wear with cream colored pants, beige pants, camel pants, off white, like winter white colored pants. So starting off with this monochromatic outfit, it's more of like a tonal look, I should say. So here I'm wearing the light tan pants and I paired it with this cream colored cardigan. Again, again such a classic outfit. And I quite like the light neutrals, especially for winter, just because I feel like winter in general is like dark and dreary. It gets dark outside really quickly. Just feel like it's very light and airy and different and another idea such a great color combination is wearing a navy blue sweater and tan or camel colored accessories such a great color combination and another classic color combination black with the light neutral color such a great combination so here i'm wearing a black turtleneck with a black blazer over the top and wearing black boots to balance out the outfit to create that like sandwich like effect and that is it that is a month's worth of winter work outfit ideas and if you're looking for more casual winter outfits or if you can wear jeans to work, I also made a video. I think I did that one about two weeks ago of casual winter outfit ideas. These clothes you probably already have in your closet. So I'll link that at the end. And I hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And follow me over on Instagram. I usually share my work outfits each day there. And thank you again for watching. And I hope I see you in my next video. Bye.